everybody. I wanted to do uh, something that's not so much about fiber, even though it is so, sort of uh, fiber related, but I wanted to do a review video for my friend. And here, this camera is at like the world's worst angle. I'm always trying to like find a good place to put it. <laughs> I'm short. So everything's either like too, too tall or too short, but <laughs> Anyhow, my uh, friend at Barnyard Blue, um, which is where we actually, the farm, we get a lot of our um, BFL, the Blue Face Lester wool from on our sites. You probably recognize the name. Um, sorry, I'm just going to have to hold this. <laughs> so the site where we get a lot of our BFL from, her main uh, business with her farm is actually she makes, uh, I believe when I met her, she was mainly making like soaps and body lotions. And, uh, which I love because I, she of course was sweet and sent me some and then got me hooked and her body lotion is like the best thing in the whole world. But what I'm making this video about was I, uh, this summer has not been super fun. I developed or was diagnosed with, uh, PCOS, which is the polycystic ovary syndrome <laughs> after having the girl so it was something that like I hadn't previously had a problem with but um thanks to pregnancy I now do and it messes up your hormones and I was really fortunate where a lot of the uh like side effects of it I have not had I just had kind of like crazy cycles and my skin my skin went bananas and we were sort of blaming it on um when we moved from we used to live out in the desert in Washington state in a real dry climate to um you know it's super muggy and whatever here in the smoky mountains in tennessee so i thought that it was just like a different climate for the longest time and i changed my makeup i went through every skincare known to man and if y'all been watching my videos <laughs> you may have noticed my skin got a little scary there um i even like it was just horrible i was breaking out like a 16 year old boy and um i hadn't broken out like that since like high school and I even broke down and bought Proactive, which I never, you know, I not something I'd ever considered doing before. And um, I'm not here to badmouth Proactive. They were very sweet and refunded me all the money, like no questions asked or whatever. But it like ate my face because I have sensitive skin. So having like sensitive skin and then the like hormonal breakouts from the PCOS really sucked because it was like anything I did to address the acne like ate my face and anything I did that like was good for my skin was not helping the acne and so I felt like I just had like pimples with dead skin on top with makeup on top <laughs> and you know which just sucked in general for self-esteem and uh then you know trying to do demo videos for wheels I just felt like I had to put on like I was never like I love makeup but I never wore like tons of foundation and all the stuff and I just felt like I had to wear so much more makeup to like even look halfway human. Um, so I was talking to Pat since like my favorite lotion in the whole world was hers. And it really was like far superior to any other lotion I'd had. Um, I was actually considering just putting it on my face <laughs> after the proactive because I my skin was like flaking off. It's horrible. So um, I, I was considering just putting the body lotion on my face. And I think I'd messaged her just to kind of get her opinion on that. And she was like, well, I'm actually working on a skincare line. And I, you know, have something I think would help your skin. And so I was like, please lay that on me. <laughs> so I was fortunate enough to be, I guess, sort of a beta tester before she actually really got it out for uh, some of her skincare line. And it was amazing. It really, really helped me. And so now I'm going to put the camera down. I'm going to show you what it was that helped me. So if you, like I said, it's not super fiber related, but I'm assuming if you're following my channel, you're probably big into, uh, you know, small business and uh industry and uh you know also maybe farms <laughs> so i thought that if anybody else was suffering from acne and sensitive skin and were just into uh those sorts of things then this might be for you and it's on her etsy shop so i will get my act together and uh link her etsy shop because it is now all everything i'm going to show you is now on the the website so please go check it out <laughs> and if you need any uh wool of course is on my website so anyhow here hold on let's see Alrighty, so this was, and like I said, it's all, you know, it comes cute with like blue tissue paper and such, but um, this was the, it's charcoal and rose, charcoal and rose clay with tea tree oil. Is this, like I said, this one's actually, since it's on site, looks all 
fancy and has a label. But yeah, it's barnyard blue, and I need to open this anyway because I'm about out with the one I have. But it, you'll recognize it on her website. It looks like this. So it's like it's the charcoal with like the rosehip oil in it. And it's like hard as a rock. Like the one I started out testing on was like a third of this size and I'm still working on it. So I'm assuming that this would last you for a super long time. So this is the bar of soap and it smells really good. It smells like tea tree, tea tree oil <laughs> and uh, rose hips. And then this is the magic lotion, which comes in this cool little blue glass jar. And it is rose hip facial lotion. And on the Etsy site, it comes in cream or lotion. And my mom, who has drier skin, is all about the cream. And I am using the lotion since, like I said, I apparently have developed oilier skin, even though I had really dry skin in the desert. But it is like this. And I will warn you, when it comes in the mail, if it's hot, the lotion may be a little bit, like, liquidy. And that's totally fine. Just uh, let it sit, like, in your house, and it becomes this again. So that was just an observation. But it is really nice. It is kind of a... Uh, the lotion is definitely more of a liquidy, um, not liquidy, it's not very thick. The cream is like super thick, it's like whipped butter. The lotion is thinner, and the lotion is what I've been using that I'd had such good luck with um, with my skin. And like I said, it really has helped me, it moisturizes my face, and it's definitely the rose hip tonic, I think is what helped clear up my acne, but because it wasn't the like, official acne medicine that's in like everything else it so anyhow that's my little review and it really it, it was wonderful i actually um my skin looked better than it does right now i'd right before this came in the mail i'd kind of run out and so i had a bottle of uh it was Burt's Bees Acne Moisturizer which i was excited about i thought you know i was like oh it's all natural and you know I was just like, I'll just use that till the other stuff from Barnyard Blue gets in, and um, it make my peel, but it made me break out. Like I immediately started breaking out again, and uh, so I'm very happy that I have this now. And I gave the other stuff to my husband, and was like, yeah, apparently I can only use this now. So this is will be officially my skincare now, and I just wanted to spread the word. So.